Guess what that Pokemon was? Guess what that Pokemon was? And guess who knew what that Pokemon was? <laughs> oh, Regulation D is so fun. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel, the main event here. Regulation D is here. Um, and we're gonna get right to the badge, which will be timestamped below. So you can skip right ahead. Real quick intro. Uh, I will be using an Earth Luna team because I think it's really strong. Um, I'm using a double bears team, Urshifu and Ursa Luna. Uh, so I hope you are ready. If you caught that in the joke, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Also in the comments, who is your regulation D sleeper surprise pick going forward? Meaning, uh, Pokemon that you think is not being talked about a lot of now, but will have a lot of like ladder success, tournament success, uh, tour success, whatever. So let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being subscribed. Thank you guys for hitting like, and I'll see you guys in the first battle. Okay, interesting. So I feel like I have an advantage here with Trick Room over there, Trick Room. Do I have an advantage? Yeah, I do. I definitely do. Um, so I'm gonna go with uh my Grim and my Bro. I think my Earth is gonna give me advantage. Uh, and my Amuga gives me some advantages also. Cause they can't have grass and goggles on everybody, right? I could bring my um. Actually, could uh, let's let's change it up. I'm not gonna bring the earth. Um, you know what? Let's just go with what we plan to go with. I was thinking about bringing my Urshifu, but I'm just gonna go with the the standard mode of the team. I was thinking about bringing the Urshifu in the lead with the Slowbro, but I am a little bit worried about Iron Hands in that spot. I thought they, they, they need the Iron Hands. This is what I was a little bit worried about. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go for a, a standard Reflect here. I'm gonna go for a yawn into this spot. <laughs> the tech is teching, baby. And here's the thing, right? I get an advantage here. Because what's gonna happen is my Ursa and their Ursa are both gonna come in. But I have Reflect Up and Chilling Water. And they're Trick Rooming. So now the Cresselia is probably going to go to sleep and they don't switch it out. I'm in a huge position here. Also, they don't get to switch because of... um. They don't get to switch because they have the... What you call it? Headlong Rush is safer here. Hell on Rush is safer in case they go into like Flutter Main or something. Cause I'm still super effective into that spot, right? And I have Reflect Up. And because, oh yeah, I was saying, because I switched out, they don't get their Volt Switch off. And then we yawn into this spot also. If it's Earth though, let's see if it's Earth. That, oh, that's not the end of the world, not the end of the world. <clears throat> it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. So we're gonna speed tie now, but it's again, it's not the end of the world. Because again, I have reflect up and I'm gonna chilling water that spot. What do I have in the back? I have stuff that I can deal with. Um. I'm just gonna go for the gusto here. 
they could have ally switch but if they do then then they just gotta they can have the win but they gotta live life knowing they're an ally switching loser <laughs> so i'm just gonna go for it because again i'm safe or i believe i'm safe at least i believe i'm safe I did have headlong rush or drop my stage by drop my attack by one stage. I tear it first. So if they're also tearing, maybe that means that I'm uh, winning the speed tie here. That thing is gorgeous. They went for earthquake. Earthquake will never do enough. That does so much damage. There's that is not a bulky boy. Oh yeah. Bop. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. <laughs> oh yeah, we're rolling now. We are rolling now. That's two two knockouts for Ursula Luna. You know what? Headlong Rush is just safer. I'll just yawn this spot. <laughs> they quit. <laughs> it's specs. They couldn't protect in Trick Room. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this one's a bit trickier. But it's also still not the end of the world. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to go with the Urshifu lead here. Urshifu plus um, Slowbro. I'm still gonna have the Earth in the back. And then I think, I think besides that, I think having the, um, ooh, I could bring Heatran, right? Heatran's good. Amuga's probably better. Yeah, let's bring the Amoongus, just in case we need the um, redirection. Amoongus is, is like the bailout mine for this team, right? It provides redirection if something goes wrong with Trick Room. I can still get attacked off with Earth. I can still get healing if Slowbro goes down since Heal Plus is gone. It gives me a lot of the stuff that I need, right? If I don't have like Fake Out or Screen Support, it gives me redirection, etc. So which one is the Zoroark, right? Is basically the question here. So because I think it's this one for the fighting stuff, I'm going to wicked blow that spot. I'm just going to go for the trick room. Rain dance. Guess what that Pokemon was? Guess what that Pokemon was? And guess who knew what that Pokemon was? <laughs> oh, Regulation D is so fun. <laughs> I'm gonna let my Urshifu go down. As you know, I'm gonna save my Urshifu. Why, why do I, have, I don't have to let it go down here? They can't kill Amoongus. <clears throat> There's no, they can't even take down my, um. they can't take down my, my slow bro. No, sir. This actually might kill now, though, right? If they do the Bleakwind Storm. Hurricane. That's perfect. We, we're bulky. I can Spore here now. And I can bring this in safe. Because they are going to swap out the Tornadus. They're going to swap Tornadus. Love Ball animation is nice. 
but I just want to get the ball rolling. And I could have redirected, but I think just putting the Urshifu to sleep is fine. If it's Terra Grass, bro, we are in trouble. But oh, if they terror if they're terror blast though, if they are terror blast, we'll take it. We'll take it. We will take it. <laughs> we will take it. <laughs> So now I can facade into the Urshifu safely. Because I don't know if the Urshifu is um is focus action, I have to double that spot. I don't think I need to um Terra yet though, right? But it might just be safer because they have Aqua Jet. And to guarantee the damage if they're guaranteed the knockout unless they're like bulky. If they're bulky. They're not switching. They're not switching. I thought Heat Train would protect here. But you know what? Because I have um Because I have um my Urshifu in the back, I beat that Heatran no matter what. I'm just gonna spore. No, it's still rain. It's still rain. I have one turn of trick room. Okay, so yeah, it's it's uh it's spore and facade because I have the one turn of trick room. Because I have the one turn, I have to do this. I'm glad I checked the turns because they're always switching out when it's one turn left. Pile up here because they can't touch slow, bro. Right? So the plan is, I get slow, bro. In it takes the hit. I get off some pile up damage. Um, I should pretty safely get off a trick room the next turn. One turn sleep. They got one turn of sleep. That's not great. That's good damage. Because I really want the Trick Room up. There are leftovers. Okay, leftovers is fine. Because I really want Trick Room up, I don't want to give them a chance to um to double up into Slowbro. So I'm gonna Rage Powder. And just Trick Room here.
because they're not gonna heat wave 17 damage is not gonna be enough they're gonna they want an earth power or flash cannon free switching free switching baby so we get another trick room up which is perfect they're gonna protect the Ursh, but because i'm not too scared of the heat train i'm still gonna go for the facade play To be expected, but they can't Oko me. They can't Oko me, and it's just safer to make this play. Flamethrower doesn't do enough damage. Flash can doesn't do enough damage. Oh, that doesn't help you at all. I'm good. <laughs> GG's. But you're still going to sleep. That doesn't help you not one bit. And I just break the sub. I understand taking a little free damage. Just break the sub. Yeah, that 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 thing's done. That guy's done. But now you just go to sleep. GG's. Do they forfeit? They don't have a move on their um on their heat trend that does enough damage to me. The headlong rush. They gonna quit? No, they just let me take it. Archelon is the goat. It is the goat. That's why he's the goat. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> My opponent played that really well though, honestly. They played that really well. So shout out to them. Big shout out to them. Okay, so this is actually pretty easy, right? <clears throat> This is actually pretty easy, in my opinion. I just go Urshifu and Slowbro. They have no ghost types. Oh, well, they might have a. Uh, they might have Ghost Gudra. They might have Rain, so I don't think I'm gonna bring this. I think Amoongus is just better. I could go with like Light Screen. I could go with just Light Screen, right? No, no, but I want to have um. I'll, if they lead the Gudra, I want to be able to damage it before it gets up a shelter. About leading the, cause like leading the Grim Snarl to get up screens is really good. But Urshifu covers Gudra. It covers this lead also, because even if they Tailwind, I can Sucker Punch here, and it'll do so much damage to them that their their spread move based on HP just doesn't do that much. I could have Terra Dark, but I'm just going to save my Terra. Yeah, I'm just going to Sucker Punch this. They could Tailwind. That's good. We'll take that. Because I think maybe they're not, I, I didn't, they're not going to taunt, right? They're just going to go for the big damage. So I figured instead of worrying about the... um. Them taunting? Yeah, we don't care about that. So that that's what the Urshifu does, right? Urshifu covers so many of this team's flaws.
I'm gonna sucker punch again, and then I'm gonna. This is what I want, right? I want Urshifu to go down here, so hopefully they attack it. Hit both, hit both. Hit both is exactly what I want. Who do they have in the back that I could be worried about? I'm just gonna bring the Earth out and just attack. I was thinking about bringing the Amoongus in, but I don't need to do that. Let me check their Pokemon. Trick Room is three turns. Um, they have no real switch-ins to this. And they, yeah, they have no switch-ins to Headlong Rush here. So we're gonna blow that up. And just yawn whatever comes in on this side. Rain Dance is an interesting choice. Did they think because I'm not guts boosted yet, I couldn't do damage? I hope that's not what they thought. I hope not. Because I hope you don't think that like Aqua Jet is gonna save you. And we have two turns of Trick Room, so I just need them to um bring out the Urshifu. If it's banded, it's really bad for them because then they can't like survive or protect. So they're gonna Terra, right? So this is where I go for the for the damage. I'm gonna yawn this spot. I just feel like there's no way. There's no way they let me just headlong rush them again, right? We're making a bit of a risky call, but I think with the yawn, it's fine. They didn't Terra. If we do 50%, though, we're good. If we do 50%, we're good. Okay, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. They crit the slow, bro. They could protect that, but it could also be Assault Vest. I want to get rid of this because my Moogus is really helpful. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with bleak wind storms. I have a Moongus, right? So I, I, I'll worry about that later. Slowbro avoiding the attack is so good. Slowbro avoiding the attack is so good. Is it Urshifu? Show me Urshifu. Which Urshifu is it? It's water, okay. I just needed to be not grass Urshifu again. Please don't be grass Urshifu again.
Shurkum is back up, baby. <laughs> Shukum is back up, baby. He's gonna spore here. <laughs> they quit. They rage quit. <laughs> Everybody quits versus Ursa Luna. <laughs> oh, we got one. We got one. So this one's actually gonna be a little bit difficult because they have two ghost types and two ground resist, which makes it, but they can't bring them all, right? They can't bring them all. Because they can't bring them all, I'm actually gonna go with Grimstar this time instead of Urshifu. And not everyone can like resist uh, the, uh, the Amoongus. So I think screens will be really helpful for me here. It doesn't matter, I'm tunneling so hard into Ursha Luna damage with this. You only have one flyer though. This is tough. You know what? Let's try something different. Let's try something. Withdraw. Withdraw. Let's go with this. I haven't brought Heatran to any games, and I, I want to show you guys some cool Heatran stuff. I don't want, if they leave Rillaboom, really, I really want to terror the, um... Yeah, I have to terror the, uh... I have to terror the, um, what you call it. I have to terror my Slowbro to get up Trick Room. It's the only way I do it. But... They were still in decent shape. I could have flash cannoned, but I think getting damage into the um getting damage into the Rillaboom is also gonna be very good. I was thinking about tearing the Heatran in this position, but I'm deciding against it because I want to get Trick Room. I want to prioritize Trick Room. Covert Cloak means nothing. Are they reversing my Trick Room? This is fine. This is totally okay. I'm okay with this. Because I'm just gonna Trick Room again. I did so much to their, um, I did so much damage to their thing. They can't afford to let that happen again. And I know they're not choice specs, so they can't knock out with a uh, Moonblast either. Yeah, oh, I like that turn for me. I like this turn. They just ruined their ability to switch. They just ruined their ability to switch. They might have like Hammer Arm or something stupid on their Rillaboom, but like that probably won. It might not, it doesn't KO my uh, Heatran. And even if it does, then I'm just guaranteed Trick Room, and their ground resist is gone. Is this Spectrier? It's Landorus, even better. Landorus is even better to see here. This means they're U-turning? Are they U-turning? <laughs> that did so little, tiny little bit of damage. <laughs> Heatran is so strong. Oh my God. It's so strong.
That's spread damage. Oh my gosh, he's training so strong. And they can't switch in. They can't switch in. This probably just KOs from here. <laughs> the protect game. I could do the same thing, but I think I'm going to heat wave. I'm going to heat wave again. I'm going to heat wave again. Chilling water puts this in range of heat wave and heat wave kills anything that hops in. Show me the Rillaboom. Show me that Rillaboom. Show me that Rillaboom. I know you want it. I know you want to show it to me. Show me that Rillaboom. Show me the Rillaboom. Show me the Rillaboom. <laughs> We missed the Spectre. Uh, it's not great. But Rillaboom being gone is awesome. We'll take it. They have not done any damage this tank this 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 uh this game. Um, if you have Trick Room, you don't have Protect on the, uh, on the Flutterbane. So this is probably Landorus. I have two turns of Trick Room, so they can't even just Protect stall me. I'm just going to double this thing. Why do they have protect on all of it? They are not doing anything but protecting and just getting hit with damage. That's all they're doing. That snarl means nothing. That's normally nothing because they, they still need to get double. They, they need to get a protect off here anyway. I still double the flutter main because Spectrier, um, because Spectrier has to what you call it. Yeah, the Spectrier still needs to um, it, it needs to protect here for the most part. Yeah, the Spectrier needs to protect. Even if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. So the uh, the Landorus is a bit tricky, but it's not the end of the world.
because of the range that it's in, I could still probably knock it out at minus two. And an Earthquake plus Shadow Ball is not going to be enough to KO. It's not going to be enough to KO me. I don't believe it is, at least. I don't believe it is. This should still KO from here. And if they snarl an Earthquake, I just get a True Room anyway, so it doesn't matter. They're Earthquaking, so Landorus just goes down. I mean, um... This is perfect. Yeah, my Heatran goes down, but I just win the game. Oh yeah, they're leftovers. Leftovers is an interesting item for Spectre. But like a bulky Spectre with Snarl and will o -Wisp actually makes sense to me, so I like the item. Guess who's back? They haven't teared yet. Maybe they tear the Lando here. But I'm so Arsalun is so strong that from this range, especially with the burn, Shadow Claw will KO the Spectre, even if they're bulky. I I do wonder what the uh terror type of the Landorus is. Is it ground? The reason I'm pumping my fist is because I am a Terra Ground Landorus believer. I think it's an awesome Pokemon. I will be using it at some point. But that Chilling Water just guarantees that I live. They Rock Slid? Why didn't you just click Earthquake? Why didn't you just earthquake, bro? I wanted to I wanted the people to see the earthquake damage. Are you that afraid for your own spectre? Here? Just because I can. Just because I can. Um, don't you guys forget the question of the day. Uh, who is your regulation D surprise pick going forward? Like I said in the intro, basically what that means to me is a Pokemon that people aren't really talking about that much that you think is can have like real success either on ladder, tournament, tours, whatever. Um Earth Luna is as strong as they say that, say it is. Heat train is stronger than I actually realized. Those heat waves are doing so much damage. Slow bro is the goat. Oh, I love those three Pokemon. Thank you guys for watching. Um, that's another win. That's four battles, four wins. I like it. I like it. Um, so you know, subscribe if you haven't before. Thank you if you already subscribed. Click like for your boy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.